now the rover, the, even the sound in the rover was recreated, or excuse me, recorded by driving the rovers at Johnson Space Center. This will just give you. This will just give you. This will just give you a sense of the experience you're about to have. Now, before before we go any further, before we go any further, um, and the question really, the question that really is, if you if we were to send somebody to Mars and we wanted to send an astronaut to Mars, who would we send? And who who deserves the first ticket to Mars? And who would be more excited to be the first inhabitant of Mars? Well, you know, when we think about it, I mean, there's only one child, adult, child body explorer who loves to do something nobody has ever done, wants to be first at everything. Ladies and gentlemen, Steve Wozniak. I'm so excited, sir. You know, <laughs> you know. First of all, first of all, uh, you know, we recreated this. We recreated Mars, and engineers and scientists and artists have worked meticulously and painstakingly to recreate every detail. And now, after billions of dollars of R and D, billions of dollars of R and D, we have now put ourselves in a position. We're ready to send one lucky astronaut. One lucky astronaut. And I heard an interview recently where you said that you you would place a, uh, you would buy a ticket right off the bat for a one-way trip. <laughs> Absolutely, I've signed up for a few. <laughs> for a one-way trip. Now you were you were the first to build. You you built the world's first personal computer. You built yeah, the world's first a whole bunch of stuff. In fact, uh, you were part of a company called Fusion IO. You built the world's first high-speed streaming storage SSD based on SSD, so that we can high-performance computing. And it turns out we're using a lot of that technology. You were first in a lot of things, and we thought that it would be great if you were the first to Mars. And this might be a one-way ticket. <laughs> and totally on you, Jensen, and Nvidia makes it possible. Let's see. I haven't done it yet. And so why do you want to go to Mars, first of all? I don't know. It's just one of those extreme things. It's, it's such an important step for humanity because it's so hard to do. It's so hard to get there. There are so many scientific obstacles that we have to overcome. And what do you want to do when you get there? Well, actually, whenever anybody gets there, I want to experience it in VR. I've been saying that for, <laughs> for a long time now. Now, if it was possible, I'm not serious here. If it was actually possible to go, would you actually go? Yes, I would. You would? Uh -huh. Yes, I would. And, Absolutely. And and so when you get there, what would what would be your profession? What would you do? So you you've been a computer <laughs> architect. Or uh, you've been a teacher. Study, look, communicating what I saw, um, inspiring other people to want to go there, maybe uh, escape Earth, mm -hmm. uh, global warming, and all. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I think that the first thing you should do when you land, and, and, and so I want to tell you this just as a, as, a, as, a, as a favor for humanity, the first thing you should do when you land is please find Matt Damon. <laughs> I think the first thing I'm going to do, if it's, if it's live video screen back to Earth, I'm going to scroll, use my feet and dig out the letters mom. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the experience that Steve is about to have has actually never been done before, and I've not tried it yet, and I wanted to save that moment for Waz. So, Waz, why don't you go ahead and try it. Tell us how it is. Well. <laughs> you look great. <laughs> yes. Oh, this is going to be big, you guys. You look great. I can, supposedly, I can maneuver myself. I uh, picked up the controller backwards. <laughs> oh, I'm on the ground. Yeah, now I've got, I've got to find the rover, though. There's the rover. Whoa. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I, I have to say I, something. Why do I feel weird? I feel weird like I'm actually moving and did. And I think I'll enter the rover. 
<laughs> now I'm in the rover. I can spin it around a little. Whoa! Now all of this, oh all of this is made possible by our friends at Cisco. So I, we got, I contacted Roland Trolla, who has the, the Cisco telepresence. You know what? Look, look at what's happening here. I'm talking. I'm talking to us. Uh, his experience is actually being back to us, streamed back to us. Okay, so we're experiencing what he's experiencing from his VR classes. Wow. All of this stuff, Roland and his team, Roland and his team jumped on this, set all this stuff up for us, literally in a day. Literally in a day. So I want to thank Roland, I want to thank Cisco, and uh, yeah, I really appreciate that. And on the ground, on the ground, Scott, you and the team, you guys are doing a fantastic job. It's amazing what you guys pulled off in just a day. Okay, hey, hey, uh, Waz, I'm going to go back to, to do my job and uh, enjoy okay. Mars. Uh, this is this is uh, this is not a one-way ticket. When you when you find David, could you just let us know? Okay. okay. Is this, if this is, am I on am I on Everest after global warming? Yeah. <laughs> you, you know, look, this this is a trip to Mars. It's not a trip to Everest. This is going to be incredible <laughs> for whoever gets to really do it. <laughs> I'm getting busy. I'm going to fall out of this chair. <laughs> well, Waz, that was not a helpful comment. <laughs> all right, brother. I'll let, it's, it's, yeah, I'll let you know when you can help me again. Oh, my gosh. Why didn't think <laughs> All right, you guys. Thanks a lot, Steve. Enjoy March. <laughs>